Leaders, visionaries, and business development specialists, did you guys know that we offer something extraordinary here at the Business Development Podcast? Introducing our business development coaching services. Whether you're a visionary entrepreneur navigating the business landscape solo or a team leader aiming at collective success, our coaching is tailored for you. Individualized guidance or dynamic team workshops, the choice is yours. We're here to empower you to conquer challenges and achieve your business growth goals. Ever wonder what it feels like to have a personalized roadmap to success? Email us at podcast at capital bd.ca. Let's kickstart your journey to unparalleled growth in 2024. Our coaching is not just a service. It's a partnership dedicated to your success. Whether you're a startup or an established enterprise, let us be your guide. Ready to transform your business game? Email us at podcast at capital bd.ca to learn more about our business development coaching services. Your success story begins with a single step. From all of us at the Business Development Podcast, we wish you an amazing 2024. Now let's get back to the show. Welcome to episode 95 of the Business Development Podcast. And on today's episode, we're kicking off 2024 right with a conversation on positivity. Stick with us. You're not going to want to miss this. The great Mark Cuban once said, business happens over years and years. Value is measured in the total upside of a business relationship, not by how much you squeezed out in any one deal. And we couldn't agree more. This is the Business Development Podcast, based in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and broadcasting to the world. You'll get expert business development advice, tips and experiences, and you'll hear interviews with business owners, CEOs, and business development reps. You'll get actionable advice on how to grow business. Brought to you by Capital Business Development, CapitalBD.ca. Let's do it. Welcome to the Business Development Podcast. And now your expert host, Kelly Kennedy. Hello, welcome to episode 95 of the Business Development Podcast. Happy New Year, everybody. Today is New Year's Day. We're recording a couple days early as usual, but it is New Year's Day 2024. I hope you all had an absolutely amazing holiday season. I hope Santa was good to all of you. I hope the new year was amazing. And I hope you are ready to kick some butt as we move into 2024. Um, wanted to start out this episode just by giving a gigantic thank you to each and every one of you who have supported our journey thus far. The Business Development Podcast would not exist without our absolutely amazing listenership, our rock star expert guests, and the support of our truly amazing sponsors. Honestly, this journey has been so amazing and such a roller coaster and such a wild ride since February of last year. And, um, you know, None of this would be possible without you guys. So I just wanted to start out the new year 2024 by being grateful, by saying how thankful and grateful I am for each and every one of you. Thank you for tuning in to our our lovely business development podcast. Thank you for coming back week over week, month over month, and helping us approach very quickly our very first year of the show. It would not be possible without you, and I appreciate each and every one of you immensely. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I wanted to give a shout out to Ben Spangle for episode 94, Begin With a Vision. This was absolutely amazing. Ben is a mindset and performance coach based right here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. He's a rock star. He's got an amazing podcast called The Pursuit. If you like this show, you'll probably like his show. So feel free to check out Ben. Check him out. Check out his show. And um, thank you, Ben. It was amazing. You're, you're a gent of a person. You're an amazing human. And I really appreciated our time together. And I look forward to seeing you very soon in the future. Future. We are very, very close to celebrating our 11th month. Um, it's coming up this Saturday, actually. So obviously, we do our guest our guest shows early. So I don't always know exactly when it's going to come up. But in this particular case, this is our last one on one show before our 11 months. And yeah, just want to say thank you so much. This show couldn't do it without your support. We couldn't get here without your support. And I appreciate each and every one of you immensely. Thank you so much for helping us get here. And I look forward to celebrating our one year anniversary with you guys coming up here in February. One of the other really cool things that we have coming up this month is we will be celebrating our 100th episode. Our 100th episode of the Business Development Podcast is coming out on January 21st. 
It is an amazing show. Yes, we've already pre-recorded it because you don't just do a 100th episode. You got to plan it a little bit. So been there, done that. We've recorded it. It's coming. It's with Cole and Shelby. And it is awesome. It's a great show. It's a great celebration of 100 episodes together. And uh, yeah, once again, it, it's truly been a journey and it's been a journey that you have joined us with. And I know we have so many long term listeners of this show, and I really appreciate each and every one of you. We were a number one show for over 7,500 people last year in our very first year. We were a number five show for around 17,500. And we were a number 10 show or like in a top 10 for over 21,000 people blew my mind, blew our minds, (laughs) still blows my mind that there's so many of you out there, but I sure appreciate you. And uh, I hope that every single episode, we are able to do two things. We are able to educate you and inspire you to do some truly, truly amazing things. So, you know, we haven't done a show update for a little while, and I do just want to bring you all in on the journey. As usual, we have (laughs) December was absolutely amazing. Honestly, for a month, December was our best month ever, ever. It was so good. We had over 12,000 downloads. I'm not sure the exact number because we literally had 1,000 downloads in our very first day of December. So we we had a really crazy December, but over 12,000 downloads, you guys, in, in December alone, which is historically, especially for business podcasts, a slow month. And so thank you, like each and every one of you guys coming in, sticking with us, really showing your dedication to personal growth. And um, you guys are rock stars. You really are total rock stars who listen to this show. We we had the best week ever in just this previous week, just this Christmas week, actually, when all of you guys were supposed to be taking a break and just hanging out with your families and doing Christmas stuff. You guys were listening to the Business Development Podcast. We had over 4,615 downloads in just the last seven days, in just the last seven days, it's January 1st. Man, you guys are absolutely amazing. That just blew my mind. And I just want to say so like, so many thanks, honestly, from the bottom of my heart to all of our listeners and guests for such an amazing 2023. 2023 was an amazing year, not just for the podcast, not just for capital business development, but for me personally. Um, it was truly just one of the best years of my entire life. And I owe a huge part of that to our amazing supportive listenership. And so I just wanted to take a moment here. I know it's been a minute, a minute on this intro, but thank you. This is all of the success here is because of you guys. And I appreciate you immensely. All right. Well, as we move into 2024, we haven't done a, a positivity show in a little while or ever. I'm not sure if I've ever done one strictly on positivity, but I know I've touched on it throughout the Business Development Podcast and how critical it is to your organization, but I wanted to spend some time chatting about positivity because I think it's something that can be fleeting for some people, can be hard to reach for other people, and for some people, it can just be their natural way of living. And it's absolutely critical in business development and entrepreneurship that we are able to tap into positivity, that we are able to keep a positive mindset and move forward. It was so funny because in my planning for this episode, you know, I think I've always felt fairly positive, but I actually did some self-reflecting and I was looking back and I would argue that there was a point in my life where I wasn't really that positive. I used to consider myself a realist and I'm giving you guys hand quotations right now because I would be like, oh, that's just the way it is or life, life is the way it is or it just works out this way and you know, you get what you get. (laughs) And Yeah, to some extent, I suppose you do. However, I also feel now, and at least for a good portion of my adult life, that you bring what you give. And so positivity is kind of one of those things. I do think you have a choice in it. I think for some people, it's harder than others because we get ingrained in in the way that we do things on a day-to-day basis. And if positivity hasn't been ingrained into your subconscious or into your, your automatic programming, it can be a little bit harder to get to. But I truly believe that that positivity is a choice. It's something that you can change in your life. And if you can change it in your life and you can be positive and you can be optimistic and you can look for the good in things, it will change your life. And so I do think heading into 2024, an episode here on positivity can be absolutely critical for the success of yourself in 2024. I, you know, and, and obviously as we head into it, <laughs> 
you guys know I wasn't always a podcaster, right? Um, it was this time last year that the idea for the business development podcast was actually taking shape. Um, I stepped into the podcasting world with zero prior experience, just expertise in BD and a willingness to learn. And so it was so funny. Like, you know, I talk about it on the show. I think I have a couple different occasions where when I first thought about doing podcasting, for me, it was something where I loved podcasting. I loved like a certain amount of podcasts. You know, podcasts had become a part of my life. I, you know, I listen to probably two to three podcasts every single day. It's really the same thing that I absolutely love. And so I know when I kind of got into it, I was like, oh man, like I love podcasting, but could I ever actually become a podcaster? And um, I would have never thought, guys, that that we would end up here. I would have never thought that we would be approaching 100 episodes a year ago because at this time, I think I just ordered the equipment and and I, I didn't know what the heck I was going to do with it, to be honest. And it was so funny because it all came in and we sat it in the corner of our bedroom and it just sat there. It sat there for like an entire month, guys. It sat there for like an entire month <laughs> while, while, you know, while I just kind of looked at it every day. And it was so funny because one night Shelby sat down in bed and she looked at me and honestly, she was a little bit pissed. She was a little bit upset with me. And she's like, look you know, either do something like, are you going to do something with that equipment or should we just sell it? Cause like that stuff wasn't cheap and you need to do something. And it was so funny because it was in that moment and she didn't mean it that way. She was, she was being motivating, but at the same time, I get it. I had like, you know, a few thousand dollars where the podcast equipment sitting in the corner of our bedroom. We have a family. What was I going to do with this stuff? And so it's so funny, but that night, that night was the beginning of the business development podcast. And I took all that equipment downstairs. I set it up in, in my office and I recorded the intro episode. And that was it, guys. That was it. it. It took that initial kick in the butt. It took that little kick to get me going. But once we got going, you know, we got on a roll. We released an ep- two episodes every single week. And that was the commitment that I made. And that's the commitment that I've stuck to. And that's the commitment that we are continuing to stick to, guys. I I don't plan on changing my two episodes a week, at least not yet. I think think the cadence is great. I think we give you great information on Sundays and on Wednesdays. And I think it's the right time to get that information. And so I'm not going to let you guys down. I'm going to keep this up. I'm going to keep releasing these two episodes every single week, at least for 2024, as best I can. You know, aside from something really emergency happening. And obviously, if that happens, I'll let you guys know. I'll let you know what's going on or why, why you're not getting your episode that week. But... The reality is I really want to keep up with this. I really do. I think this cadence that we picked has been a good one. I think it I think it supports both the growth of the business development podcast and your personal growth. And um yeah, but that's it. Like, you know, sometimes we all just need that little kick in the butt, but once we get it, we get it. And so I hope today this episode for you guys is a little kick in the butt. And I really don't want you guys to be afraid to take a leap in 2024. You really can do anything you set your mind to. And I I really believe this, guys. You can. You know, whether it's entrepreneurship and you have this really great idea and you're looking for something to take the leap on, or whether it's starting your own podcast and you have no experience, you're you're Kelly. Like, if you are sitting here and you're listening to this episode today and you love podcasts and you're an expert in something and you're like, I wonder if I could do that. Yes. Yes, you can, because I did it. And I sat down and I had zero experience with podcasting, with audio equipment, with audio editing. And it's like, yes, I get it. In the beginning, probably a little obvious because I wasn't as great at show production. But this show has gotten better because I have learned how to do show production. I have learned how to better do it and, and better handle audio levels and all this stuff. And it's all a learning experience. And yes, you're going to have hiccups. You're going to have challenges, but you will get better and better and better at it. And mark my words, you can do this. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your speaking background is. I don't care what your level of expertise is in certain things. You can do a podcast if you want. You can start a business if you want. You can. And it all starts with a positive mindset. And so let's just roll right into it, okay? One of the most common traits of excellent business development specialists is their ability to stay positive. They live in a baseline of optimism and positivity. What do I mean by this? I mean that in business development, you're going to get a lot of no's. You're going to have some ambitious goals that maybe seem a little crazy. 
um, you know, you have to create relationships with people who you've never met before. And if you go into these these activities thinking, I can't do this, or I'm not going to be able to do this, or how do they expect me to hit these ambitious growth goals for the year? Or, oh, man, I got to book 25 or 35 meetings this year. How the heck am I going to do that? Or they give you a big company. Let's say they give you a big fish. It's one of the biggest companies that you've ever had to try and try and approach or try to build a relationship with. And it seems impossible. Mark my words, if you tell yourself it is impossible, it will be impossible. Whether you say you can or whether you say you can't, you are right. And that's where the positivity mindset comes in. You have to believe in yourself. I believe in each and every one of you. I know this because I recognize that anything can be done, especially on the business development front, as long as you set your mind to it and you are consistent and you follow a process and you hold yourself accountable. If you do those things, you can be successful in business development. You can be successful in entrepreneurship. You can market your own products. You can sell your own products. You can build relationships. It's all about being able to stay positive and reflect on positivity and learn from the losses, right? Lessons from the losses. I believe that was one of our episodes with Steve Monk. It really is lessons. And Staying positive is what allows you to look at losses as a learning experience instead of just letting it tear you down to the core, right? You in entrepreneurship, you in business development, you're going to have bad days. You're going to have days where things just did not go to plan. They fell apart. The meeting went south. You know, the client dropped out on you for no reason. Um, you know, or your business, you know, runs into a major hiccup or a snag, right? These can be absolutely emotionally devastating and they can be emotionally devastating in the moment. And if you are feeling that way, it is okay. I have had emotionally devastating moments in business, in business development, but I didn't stay there because my baseline is not to feel sorry for myself. It's not to stay hit, stay focused on that negative. It's to, it's to bounce back. It's to look for the positive. It's to Try to grasp the lesson learned and do it better. And I talked to you guys about this earlier in the year when with Capital, I, you know, I lost some back to back proposals and it was really hard. It was really devastating, but I didn't sit and dwell on the loss too long. What I did was I started to revamp our systems. I revamped our processes. I, I revamped our proposals and I created a better system that, that, that existed or than existed before. And it wouldn't have happened. That's the thing. The funny thing about these really hard setbacks is they force us to make positive change in our lives. And that doesn't matter whether it's a personal challenge, a business challenge. It forces you to reflect on yourself. And if you can stay positive and you can look for the good in it, you can look for the lesson, you can grow exponentially from these setbacks. And I think that really is the difference between good business development people, good entrepreneurs. Yes, they lose. They have horrible days. But instead of reflecting on these horrible days and staying stuck there and quitting and giving up or or just, you know, you know what whatever existing, <laughs> they look for the lesson. They implement the lesson and they end up better than before, stronger than before. They do. They really do. And what do these people have? They have positivity. They have positivity. They have a mindset, a baseline of default positivity and optimism. We can talk about optimism another time, but optimism is another big part of it. But being able to stay positive really can change your life. It, it changed my life. It's so funny what simply the mindset of positivity can do for you in business, in business development and entrepreneurship. There's no way in heck I would have ever made it long-term in business development if I was not an incredibly positive person. And I do think that positivity can be learned. I don't think that necessarily we all start out default positivity. And I would argue that I did not start out default positivity. I'll be honest. I, I look back and I'm not sure that I can see the point at which it really shifted to my default being positive. But I know for a long time, I used to, like I said, consider myself a bit of a realist. But I think that by staying positive, I have, in, in fact, drawn more positivity into my life. And whatever you guys believe, it's okay. But I really do believe that you get what you give. And so if you are giving the universe and the world positivity and you're looking, you're trying to take the positive out, outlook, you're trying to turn the other cheek, you're trying to do better, 
the world gives you that in return. You get paid back with better. You get paid back with positivity. You get paid back with good outcomes. And I know it sounds kind of silly because, you know, even even me, like I get a little woo woo about some of this stuff, too. But the reality is I really do believe that staying optimistic, staying positive can absolutely change your life. It can change your business and it can change your personal life. Okay. Remember, being positive does not mean that you don't have bad days. It's about making the choice to move forward in hope in spite of adversity, okay? We're all going to have bad days. There's no way about it. We're going to lose people we love. We're going to have bad business days. We're going to get sick. We're going to have challenges, and we're going to fall flat on our face. It's our ability to pick ourselves up and dust ourselves off and carry on forward with a positive outlook that gives us the strength that shapes the world, that gives us the ability to change the world. Nobody who changed the world did it easily. Every single time they fell flat on their face, they ran into adversity. It's not going to come easy to you. Nothing worthwhile in your life is ever going to be handed to you on a silver platter. Okay, But positivity can take you there. It can take you to where you want to go. It's about succeeding despite adversity okay we're all going to have challenges we are all going to have challenges and there's nothing that we can do about the challenges however we can change the way that we approach the challenges we can change the way that we handle adversity in our life and we can make positive outcomes from bad situations it is absolutely possible it is absolutely possible Positivity and personability matter in your ability to connect as a human, right? Our job in business development and and entrepreneurship, for that matter, is usually to create friendships and relationships that last that last, you know, the length of our business time. Sometimes some of these some of these friendships and relationships last a lifetime. I have clients that I've I've had the pleasure to work with for the past, you know, over a decade who I would consider good friends at this point. And yeah, they're clients, but yeah, absolutely. Like we've shared hard times, we've shared good times, we've had amazing conversations, we've had fun together. Like the reality is good business is great relationships. That's really what it is. It's all about the relationships that you guys generate. And so a big part of generating authentic, great relationships is about being human. It's about recognizing we're going to have shit days. We're going to have great days. But if we can just keep a positive outlook and we can stay positive and laugh and get through these challenges, the good times come and the good times come and they're great. But you have to get through the challenge to get there. And the positive attitude is the tool to help you get through these challenges. It's it's the way to help you be able to turn adversity into prosperity, right? You can absolutely do this. You can absolutely do this. Positivity gives you the ability to better weather the storms in your life and find the lesson, okay? Yes, right? I've been through some shit. I know you've been through some shit. We've all been through it. We've all had absolutely horrible, horrible times in our lives, you know? I, I'll, I'll speak back to being a teenager. Uh, one, I lost a very close friend, probably one of my best friends. Um, he died and I was very young. I want to say that I was about 17 or 18 years old. We were, we were quite young and it hit me real, real hard. The depression hit hard. Um, and to any of you who have lost a close friend or a family member, I feel for you. I, I know what that is like and it is absolutely horrible. And I remember that I was in my bed. <laughs> I like, I just, I, you know, I, I was supposed to go to school at the time, I think. And I just, I, I couldn't really get out of bed and I was just not feeling good. And my dad came into my room and gave me the best piece of advice. He gave me the best piece of advice that, that he ever gave me. And he said, look, Kelly, this is hard. Tomorrow is going to be hard. The next day is going to be hard, but you have to get up. You have to get up and keep going and push through. And he's like, right now, you need to just get up and do the things that you would normally do. And today, it's going to be hard. And tomorrow, it's going to be hard. And the next day, it's going to be hard. But it's going to get easier and easier and easier. And you have a life to live and you have to keep going. My gosh. I look back at that now. I'm literally getting chills. I look back at that now and he was so right. He was so right because you have to keep going because you have a life to live. You have success to go get. And it's not going to come easy. It's going to come. It's going to come with hard work. It's going to come with getting up and doing the hard thing, even though you don't want to. But eventually that hard thing that you don't want to do, it's not going to be hard anymore. And you might even want to do it. And life will get better. 
And you have to look forward to that. You have to look forward to the point where this isn't going to be so hard. And this is this is just as true in business development as anything else in life, right? You know, we're going to sit down, especially if you're new to business development, and you need to, you know, you need to bust out your 20 calls that day. And it's the last thing on earth you want to do because maybe you haven't refined your pitch yet. Maybe it's the first time you've ever done your pitch and you were scared shitless. You don't know how it's going to go because you don't, you're not used to doing the calls. But what's going to happen is you're going to make your 15 calls that day and it's going to be hard. And you're going to make your 15 calls the next day. It's going to be hard. And you're going to make your 15 calls the next day and it's going to be hard. But you're going to make your 15 calls on that very next day. And it's not going to be so hard. And the day after that, it's not going to be so hard. And you're going to realize real quickly that you hit something when you're doing cold calls. You hit something called a cold call cadence. And it's where after about the fifth or sixth call, the rest are easy. They really are because you've banged it out. You're in the groove. You got it going. And, you know, the first five calls are actually harder than the remaining 15. They really are. The first five calls are your hardest calls always. But you can't hit the cold call cadence without making those first five calls. And you can't get the runners high without running, right? And life is the same way. And a positive attitude and a positive outlook is the secret. It's the secret to get you through to tomorrow, to the next day, to the easy days. It's the, it's the antidote. It's the medicine. And so if you, if you change one thing in 2024... I want you guys to try your best to incorporate a positive outlook into your life. I really do believe that positivity moves mountains. Positivity moves mountains. And if you can if you can change your default to a positive outlook, it will absolutely change your business, it will absolutely change your life, and things are going to turn around for you in 2024 in ways that you could have never ever imagined. And I really hope the takeaway from this episode today is that you're going to make a commitment to yourself to, to, to take a new lease on life in 2024, that you're going to look to the future, that you're going to, you're going to find hope, right? I hope that right now I'm your hope dealer. <laughs> Colin Harms, one of our sponsors, he reached out. He's like, Kelly, you're a hope dealer. And uh, it's, it's grown on me a little bit. I love that. I love that saying, Colin. Um, but I want to be your hope dealer. I really do. I want you guys to listen to this show and find your inspiration for the week, find your education for the week and find find your best self to build the best business, to, to, to set you know the best meetings and to frankly, not just change your life, but change the world. Because each one of you have the ability to change the world. Each one of you have the ability to change the world if you set your mind to it and say you're going to. And I'm not sure that I always believe that, but I sure believe it now. I absolutely believe it now. Every single one of you has the power, has the strength inside of you to move mountains. So go move them. Go move them. Stop letting people tell you you're not enough. Stop limiting yourself with self-limiting beliefs. You absolutely can start that business. You absolutely can launch that incredibly successful podcast. You can do whatever it is you want to do in 2024. Mark my words. Mark my words. You absolutely can do it. Optimism and positivity are absolutely critical in your ability to serve as an entrepreneur or a business development specialist. But it's not just, it's not just important in work. It's important in life. And each one of you have the ability within you to change the world. And I hope you do. I really hope you do. And I know there's some of you out there who are saying, well, Kelly, what if, what if I'm just not in a positive mindset? You know, what if you did just, what if you did just lose someone close to you? Or what if you did just lose your job and you're feeling, you're feeling really bummed out? I feel for you. I feel for you. I've been there. I know exactly how you're feeling and it can feel like a depth that you can't pull yourself out of. But mark my words, you can and you will pull yourself out of this predicament. You absolutely will. First off, I want you guys, if you're in this situation right now where you're feeling like you've been knocked on your butt and you're sitting and you're licking your wounds a little bit, I want you to, I want you to relax, okay? I want you to relax and let yourself know it's okay. We all find ourselves here at times. I've been there plenty in my life and I will probably be there again in my life and so will you so will you and so will I but the reality is you will recover from this you will get back up okay I want you to surround yourself with people who care about you I think as entrepreneurs 
we can really we can really isolate ourselves and i am so guilty for this i really am you know i i'm the i'm one of the worst for this which is so funny because you know i talk about business development and relationships all the time but you know i get really locked into what my work and my business and my family and i can really self isolate myself from the world and people who care about me and i think one of the important things we need to do especially when we get knocked on our butts is to is to find that connection again. It's to reconnect with our family. It's to reconnect with our close friends and, and, and our mentors and the people who build us up. We need those people in our lives because they help pick us up in these hard moments. So if you're finding yourself on your butt right now, what I want you to do is surround yourself. Reach out. Reach out. If you haven't reached out to people in a while, I want you to reach out. Just say, hey, you know, uh, I missed I, I missed you. It's been a while. Let's reconnect. Let's go. Let's grab a lunch. Let's, uh, let's connect. Let's come watch a game or something. Find a way to reconnect with your community and your support system, okay? I would like you, if, you ha- if you're feeling really, really beat down and you're mentally struggling right now, I would like you to please seek the help of a licensed therapist to discuss your challenges, okay? Um, I've been there. You know, it's, there's nothing to be ashamed about. There's nothing to be ashamed about to go see a therapist and, and talk about some of your challenges, okay? It's 2024. No one's going to look down on you for this. We're all human. We're all struggling. We're all living a a hard existence, frankly. Um, you know, 2023, as great of a year as it was, it's been a tough year. It's been a tough year for a lot of people and a lot of businesses. Inflation is through the roof, at least here in Canada. Um, groceries have basically doubled, you know, cost of heating and, and energy has basically doubled. It's been, it's been absolutely bonkers on that front. And so I get it. I get it. There's been lots of challenge, um, in 2023. And I want you to know that there's nothing wrong with seeking professional help. There's nothing wrong with going to a therapist. It, it's, it doesn't make you less of a man. It doesn't make you less of a woman. You can 100% seek some professional help and you absolutely should. It can change your life. It can really change your life because I think especially if if we are struggling with staying positive, what it can actually be is issues of our limiting beliefs. OK, and those limiting beliefs can go back a long time. They can go back to, you know, a childhood experience that you had or, you know, an issue where you were told you weren't good enough. And it stuck with you. It, it burnt into your mind and you don't even recognize that you're working on these subconscious limiting beliefs. It's it's an autopilot. It's like it's like auto programming. We go through like 95% of our day on auto programming. Almost every choice you think you make in a day was already made by your auto programming. So it's really important that we are we are fixing this auto programming if it is if it is hurting you. And so you can learn these things at therapy and you can have them help you reprogram these limiting beliefs to a belief of I can do this. I am positive. I I am enough. I deserve to be here right? Imposter syndrome, right? We all struggle with imposter syndrome. You deserve to be where you're at. You really do. You know, you deserve your success. You deserve to change the world. You deserve these things. There's nothing, there's nothing that someone who does that, uh, who someone who, who actually does change the world, there's nothing that they do that you don't equally deserve or could do on your own. Okay. Like there's nothing holding you guys back on these fronts. You can absolutely do this. And if you are telling yourself you can't, what that is is a self-limiting belief, right? And so it's really important that we are addressing self-limiting beliefs and we are surrounding ourselves with people who do believe in us and who can build us up, okay? I want you to know that it's okay if you are having challenges, okay? You know, like that advice that my dad gave me, one day at a time, one day at a time. Just do the thing that you need to do or that you would have done. And yeah, day one is going to be hard. Day two is going to be hard. Day three is going to be hard. You know, maybe right up to day 15 is going to be hard. But guess what? On day 16, it's not going to be so hard. And on day 17, it's going to be even better. Day 18, even better. Okay. You can get through anything. You can get through anything a day at a time. The secret is to keep living life. It's to not give up. It's to get out of bed and do the hard thing and do the thing that maybe you don't feel like doing until it becomes the thing that you feel like doing. And it will happen. It will happen. Mark my words. It happened for me. It'll happen for you, okay? You can absolutely get your life back. You can absolutely get back to a new normal. And yeah, it may not be exactly the same as it was before, but it could even be better. You have the ability to do this, okay? So remember, everybody, positivity is a mindset. It's a choice. Practice it daily and watch not just your business, but your life change 
for the better. All right, everyone. Amazing. Um, Obviously, we're heading into 2024. If you're wondering about how you can help the Business Development Podcast, and we do need your help. You know, I know there's a lot of you out there, and I would really, really appreciate it if you guys could do one thing for me. Hop onto Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you guys are listening, leave us a rating, and if possible, leave us a little written review. You can do this either on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or directly on our website. All are appreciated. Um, heck, both are appreciated because our website doesn't necessarily connect with Apple Podcasts and Spotify. So if you guys have a little bit of time today, I would appreciate it immensely if you guys would leave us a rating and a review as we head into uh, 2024. Because uh, obviously, the more ratings and reviews we have, the more new listeners that we are able to reach. So that's really great. Um, please do continue to tell your friends and family. I know you guys are absolutely doing that, and I appreciate you immensely. Friends, family, coworkers, let them know about us. Let them know that there's a resource like this available for them and that in 2024, we're looking to grow and we want to grow with you. And we're going to have some absolutely amazing, amazing shows coming out in 2024. Um, We have some pretty amazing guests. I'm not going to get into it yet, but... We have amazing guests booked here for for early 2024. We're celebrating our 100th episode and we're growing quickly and we need your support to continue that momentum. And we couldn't have this momentum without you. And I appreciate you immensely. Just a reminder, everybody, we also have community questions and there was a big change. You may have missed it. There was a big change um, in our ability to leave community questions at the beginning of December. So we have implemented... Uh, a voicemail on our website. So I will leave a link in all future LinkedIn posts that will also that will also send you to the place where you can leave a voicemail. If you would either like to leave us any type of review for the show, if you'd like to leave us some feedback on the show or just let us know how we're doing, or if you want to leave a community question for an upcoming community questions episode. And like I said, I want to do an episode every month. So please feel free. Leave me lots of community questions. Nothing's off bounds. Just leave them for me and I will do my best to address them. Please make sure that you leave your name uh, and, and a way for me to write you back. I would appreciate it immensely. We look forward to doing community questions with you guys into 2024. We look forward to the next phase of the Business Development Podcast. And we look forward to celebrating 100 episodes with you very, very shortly. Shout outs this week, Rodney Lover, Colin Harms, Jay Merchant, David Sobius, Tatiana Zametlina, David Delvin, and Roxanne Kasiachuk. Appreciate you guys immensely. Until next time, this has been the Business Development Podcast, and we will catch you on the flip side. This has been the Business Development Podcast with Kelly Kennedy. Kelly has 15 years in sales and business development experience within the Alberta oil and gas industry and founded his own business development firm in 2020. His passion and his specialization is in customer relationship generation and business development. The show is brought to you by Capital Business Development, your business development specialists. For more, we invite you to the website at www.capitalbd.ca. See you next time on the Business Development Podcast. Hello, fellow trailblazers. Kelly Kennedy here. In 10 short months, we've smashed through the 100,000 downloads and the momentum is unstoppable. With an astounding 2,000 to 3,000 downloads on average every single week. We're not just a podcast, we're a phenomenon. And we want your brand to be front and center in our success story. Imagine your products and services reaching our vibrant and engaged audience, executives, entrepreneurs, and business aficionados from across the globe. We're on the lookout for sponsors who want more than just a logo placement. We're talking about strategic partners ready for a long-term journey with us, partnerships that resonate with our community, and partners who want to join the wave of our success. Seize this opportunity to showcase your offerings with our rapidly growing audience of high-level executives. Join us in this thrilling adventure of growth and impact. Your sponsorship won't just align with our values. It'll propel your brand into the spotlight of the dynamic world of business development. So let's make it happen. Reach out today and become a pivotal part of the Business Development Podcast, where education meets inspiration and success stories are not just told, they're lived. Your brand deserves this stage, and we're here to make it shine. Join us, and let's change the world in 2024.